my first crying listener. I had someone cry at the open mic. I was doing my poem, Revenge of the Foster Kid, with my emotions channeling my anger with a somber undertone. My poetry had a way of giving a nod to hate that was packed in storage. While it had a consistency in sketching the pain and acoustic, this day I guess my words rattled the young girl's memories. Her shaking spirit let delicate tears fall in the volleys of thighs. But I still was focused on performing. The sniffles are adding to the ambiance of audience. The small nostril jerk is giving a softness to the stoic expressions. Her act of vulnerable is giving a push to her adjacent neighbors and chairs that are frozen in attention. At the end, she stood in front of me in a staring contest that lasted for five seconds. I can't explain the emotion forever. Maybe some psychologist can. I didn't know whether to give her a hug or let my emotions join in on our shared revelation. But as we embraced, it was the first time I would experience poetry connecting on that frequency. That day, I observed emotions sometimes are imprisoned to the hesitation of tears. But that day, she was set free, and so was I.